Well, Spasiba for tuning in over there in Russia. Happy to have you as Rashid Yusupov and Mikhail Moknakin square off. The only big difference here is the five inch reach advantage on the legs for Rashid Yusupov. He calls himself a wrestler. Will we see the leg reach and maybe some kicks come into play? Only one way to find out. Lillian Garcia gets us started on ESPN Plus in the PFL Smart Kick. It is non-stop action here in the PFL. This is scheduled for three rounds in the light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He specializes in combat sambo. Weighing in at 205 pounds and standing at 6'2", he has a professional record of 11 victories, three defeats, and two draws. Fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia, here is Mikhail Magnukin. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a wrestler, standing at 6'1", weighing in at 205 pounds. In 11 professional bouts, he has an impressive record of 10 victories and one defeat. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, here is Rashid Your referee in charge, Todd Anderson. Todd Anderson, the third man in the cage here on ESPN Plus. Light heavyweight action at PFL 3 and NYCB Live, the Veterans Memorial Coliseum on Long Island, New York. Rashid Yusupov right. in the silver shorts right. out of Dagestan. Right. Mikhail Moknatkin in the gold from St. Petersburg, Russia. Southpaw versus Southpaw to start things out. You said a lot of Russian fans are interested in this fight. I mean, these young men fought each other once before at Combat Sambo. And Mikhail Moknaktin won that fight. So Rashid Yusupov is looking for some redemption. That was a couple years ago. Yusupov kind of dismissed it as, well, I was in his world. That was the specialty for Moknaktin in Combat Sambo. Yusupov. Undefeated coming into season one, but broke his jaw. We didn't get to see as much of him as we wanted, so there's still a lot left to learn about this kid. Absolutely, we want to see what he's got. We want to see what kind of tricks he has and you know, show all that experience. Inside leg kick there for Yusupov. Interesting feeling out process here, Eve. They're, they're pretty darn close to one another, just on that edge of range for both guys. Yeah, I believe both these young men read range really well, and they're comfortable at the range they're fighting at right now. Look at that. Look how they pick up those shots. Get out of the way, just small movements. Quick footwork there after the slapping inside kick from Yusupov. Not kid misses and spins. We had an interesting moment in interviews with these two fighters, Russia versus Russia, right? And I said, is there a rivalry between Dagestan, that region, and the rest of Russia? Rashid Yusupov said, no, we're all Russians. Mikhail Moknatkin said, yeah, there's a rivalry. <laughs> Leg kick for Moknatkin. They can't agree on anything. Body kick there from Yusupov. If you're looking at our cageonomics and you're wondering why you're not getting a measurement on strike speed yet, you got to land a solid punch. The accelerometers in those gloves have to come to a halt before we know how fast they were going. So far, they've been missing or picking them all off. More of Eve's point there, just excellent management of distance for both of these guys. Careful approach, or probably more accurately, a calculating approach. Yeah, and what's going to have to happen is somebody's going to have to start adding feints to their game to trick the opponent into allowing a shot to land. Leg kick traded for leg kick here as two Russians go at it. 
Yet to see a significant punch land. Take a look inside the blue corner of Mikhail Moknatkin. Yes. Misha, Sam, 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 Sam. Misha, you work, you work, Misha. Don't wait for him. Good, good. At all. At last. And then followed by leg. Bring, bring up your arms. Arm and then the leg. And the same thing with the leg. Meet him. Both guys working the jabs aggressively here, yet to really pay any dividends as the managed distance has yet to be a solved puzzle. Usually when foreign fighters are fighting here in the U.S., especially when they're fighting an American fighter, they have an advantage in their corner is telling them things and their, their opponent can't understand it. <laughs> but it's just like they're both fighting at home right now. Crowd getting a little bit restless here. The more tactical approach from these two. <laughs> the people want blood like they saw with Mickelson and Bolsa. <laughs> Little exchange there to heat up. 30 seconds left here in round number one. Six points on the line for the next 20 or so. I enjoyed this round, but I don't know how to score it. A lot of leg kicks. If you're trusting the cage economics, well, not can land it more. Left that hand there to finish the round. Can. Maybe enough. We'll find out when we come back. Nice jab, nice long straight jab right down the middle, flush on the mug of McNaughton. There's a long feeling out process in round number one. Will we see it heat up with points on the line here at round number two? Light heavyweights squaring off Mikhail Bokatkin in the gold shorts, Rashid Yusupov in the silver. Back up. Back up. For me, a lot of times watching fights Ready? are like watching Ready? a short Ready? film, and I want to see how who figures this fight out first. That's why I like that first round. I like they're both looking for openings, and they're both trying to figure it out. That chess match, that kinetic chess match is what, what I enjoy. At some point, one of these guys is going to have to take a risk. He's going to have to expose himself a little bit and try to capitalize. They're staying right in the center of the cage. You see on your cageonomics that indicator line. That's the GPS you were mentioning there earlier, Eve. Body kick from Yusupov. If we learned anything in the fir that first round, is that these two guys respect each other in the skill sets quite a bit. No risks really taken, as you mentioned, Randy. Nobody's, nobody's gone out on a limb. Nobody's tried anything. <laughs> And that's, I believe, what someone's going to have to start doing, doubling up on that jab, creating more motion to get more of a reaction out of the opponent and find an opening, create an opening. If you're a southpaw, how many times did you square off against the southpaw? It's usually a different look. It's a very different look. Unfortunately for me, I was in a gym with a lot of southpaws, American top team, so that helped. I had Dustin Poirier, Gleason Tebow, a lot of guys like that. But facing a southpaw sometimes is very awkward for a southpaw because when you're in the gym and you're facing a southpaw, you, you, it's hard to have a lot of southpaws around. I was fortunate, like I said, but then there are those times when you're facing an orthodox fighter and you're more comfortable seeing that. Seeing some red on the inside of five, the lead leg of Mokhnotkin, and a little red on the outside leg of Uspov. Yeah. Both guys landing kicks. They're really the only effective striking that's been going on. Yeah, the bulk of the trades have been in the kicking department here in the early goings of this fight. Three minutes left in round number two, and five points on the line in the PFL light heavyweight standings. I do feel like as if Yusupov is slightly pulling ahead right now. Not, not by much. But he's pressing the action a little more. He's doubled up on the jab first. He's controlling the center of the cage move. If you combine tonight in our last PFL event, the Russians are undefeated in those last two, and I'm confident that after this bout, that will still be true. <laughs> 
don't know. I want, well, there's a Russian that's going to lose. Somebody's got to lose tonight. There's going to be a defeated Russian tonight. Overhand left just misses there for Mikhail Mokhnachin. Crowd, sort of encouraging more action. Yo, Bronx cheer, I think they call that. <laughs> there's, there's a little combination. Well, Notkin tries to close the distance. A little blood now showing on the face of the fighter from St. Petersburg. Ooh, Big left hand man for Yusupov. Feel as though you supposed to fire that big left hand and use that to set up a shot. Rob Nocton's hands are coming up. And it looks like he's blinking when those punches are coming his way. Spinning back fist easily evaded by Rashid Yusupov. <laughs> Leaping front kick for Mikhail Mokhnokin. Catches a body kick. Lead left hook, just missed there. And the leg kick. This distance right here, these men are fighting at the same distance, but what I want to see is one of them crash that distance and press the opponent back and look to get to a takedown because from this range, it's very hard to judge this fight, and I really want to see somebody close that distance and get into the grappling aspects of this fight. Somebody is going to have to do something to distinguish themselves in this fight, and it's just not happening. It's effectively been a kickboxing match here for the bulk of two rounds. 30 seconds left in round number two. And again, points and bonus points on the line. A victory is good for three. Each round that you don't have to experience gives you an extra bonus point. So right now, potentially five points. If they close out this one, we'll head into the third with four points on the line. Ten seconds left. Round three when we return on ESPN Plus. Round three when we come back, as we come back, I should say, here on ESPN Plus. Saw a couple of kicks exchanged there. Randy, ready? Those rounds leave me want more than just the kick. Yeah, something's got to happen. Something's got to give here. If somebody wants to win this fight, they're going to have to take a risk. Only seven total punches have been landed in this fight so far, Eve. Is that a lefty versus lefty thing? That's not a lefty versus lefty thing. That's a, I can't figure this out. And these guys are still building the plot. You've got you've to get to the action part of this, of this short film that I want to see. So stop building the plot and let's get to the climax. A little more aggression here in the early part of round three. Four points still on the line. Mikhail Moknatkin, the combat sambo specialist in the gold shorts. Rashid Yusupov, Dagestani representative who broke his jaw in season one. He's in the silver. A little slip there. There we go. A little more aggression in these exchanges. Some exchanges going now. Truly, this is a good opportunity for either one of these men because now they're, they're committing to getting into these exchanges. Somebody could change levels and attack a leg. Look at, look at the position they're holding. They're throwing a few punches from that same range. That's a great time to change levels. The Cajunomics there at the bottom of your screen show us that well, Nutkin has landed more, but you can't trust that the judges are seeing those numbers. They're not. You can't trust that the judges are going to deem things your way, especially Yusupov has taken the center of the cage quite a bit in this bout. It's a very difficult fight to score. Evenly matched. We don't know that, I mean, judges have given us draws before, and that can be problematic for these gentlemen in our PFL standings. A draw is only good for a point. I haven't, it, that's true. I haven't seen a lot of 10-10 rounds in MMA, though. Oh, huge punch. Big left hand. Big left hand from Rashid Yusupov. Mikhail Mokhnakin in serious trouble. Yusupov tried to finish it out from the top. 
just like that. Changes in a blink of an eye. Lands a great left hand right on the button, right on the chin of McNaughton. Points still on the line here for Rashid Yusupov. If he can finish, Moknatkin looks to still be recovering. Effective striking there from the side control for Rashid Yusupov. Moknatkin still in trouble. Posts the arm and tries to get up, and now he's got that underhook that Eve loves so much. That underhook is so effective. He was able to attack with it, but was not able to get back to his feet. Oh, now triangle attempt from Mikhail Moknatkin on the bottom. But that left leg is trapped, and that's what's saving Yusupov from having to worry about that triangle right now. Less than two minutes left for Mikhail Moknatkin. Yusupov is trying to throw that leg off and pass the side control on this far side. Legs. Oh, he got his arm out. And he got the pass. And lands in side control, Mikhail Moknatkin. Throwing up a bit of a Hail Mary there, but he's still got 90 seconds left to work after being dropped. <laughs> Yusupov appears to be kind of settling into the work from, from the uh, side mount here. Yeah, landing some shots, holding position. Oh, nice yeah. right hand. It was a nice post by McNaughton. Get back to half guard at least. Yusupov wrapping his legs. And what that tells me is he's not looking to advance position. He's going to keep this position. He may be holding on, hoping that that knockdown puts him ahead on the judges' scorecard. Well, we talked about needing something to distinguish each fighter in this one, and, and that is the moment so far that we've seen. Can Moknatkin pull something out with less than 30 seconds left? Because it's been all Yusupov in this round. Yusupov had an opportunity to move into the mount right there, but he stayed in that half guard position. Less than 10 seconds left. Is the knockdown enough for Rashid Yusupov to seal the victory here? We'll have an official decision for you on ESPN Plus when we come back. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, and Eve Edwards here on ESPN Plus at NYCB Live in Long Island. And the Cajunomics in this light heavyweight bout between Rashid Yusupov and Mikhail Moknatkin. Long feeling out process, strategic approach, and the knockdown on that power strike, significant strike from Rashid Yusupov. More active Mikhail Moknatkin in the striking game. But goodness, Yusupov landed the meaningful punch of this bout. Yeah, that, oh, that right hand from the, I'm sorry, the left hand from the outside, boom. As Mark Dawkins coming in, that straight left hand put him down. And you spot looked to finish, but Mark Dawkins' instincts kicked in, got him to a position where he could tie up and stop the punches, the barrage from coming down. But look at that, beautiful left hand over the shoulder, between the shoulder and the chin, found the button and dropped it. And from the top position, Yusupov is looking to land big shots, but Moknaktin did exactly what he needed to do, tie Yusupov up, try to recover, but was not able to get back to a great position. There's the reaction from the corner, including Rashid Magomedov, one of our lightweight professional fighters league contenders. How did the judges see this one? We'll find out now with Lillian Garcia inside of our VFL Smart Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And the totals are 30-26, 30-27, 30-27, all for your winner by unanimous decision, earning three points in the light heavyweight division, Rashid! Rashid Yusupov, a clinical performance and a big knockdown, good enough for three points in the light heavyweight standings. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen.
what you wanna do. If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.